G'day folks, here we are in front of the Cruiser Slide 2017 model 10 year anniversary edition. Today we're going to go right through the camper trailer, show you how to set it up, show you all the features, so let's get started. This is the first part of setup. What we're going to do here, Steve's going to come in, give me a hand, and we're going to show you how to fold out the boat rack. So the first port of call is take your little gold clip out. On your over centre catches, you've got a little sprung loaded clip there. Make sure you push that out of the way, drop that down, undo your over centre catch, we're just about ready to go. Before folding over the boat rack, you've got another locking clip here as well. So make sure you take the pin out of one side, slide your locking clip out, your arm will come free. Once the boat rack's open, that'll locate into down here. You lock that back into position so the boat rack's nice and firm. So locking pins are out. Now it's time to fold the boat rack over. So when your boat rack comes over, line your bracket up into the bottom there. So get your bracket lined in there. Slide your pin back in. So that holds your boat rack into position. Boat rack's out of the way and done. Here we are, ready to drop the spare wheels then out at the back. So down the bottom here, you've got your barrel bolt. Pull it out, lock it into the open position so it doesn't spring back in. Your locking handle here, grab your little unlocker at the back there, push that forward, take the weight off, and it's nice and easy. These are all gas strut assisted, so they're very, very easy to push down. That's it, spare wheels down. On your over centre catches here, when you're unlocking your lid, you've got four of them. You've got two this side, two the other side. Pop your gold clip out. Again, remember your spring-loaded locker there, unlock it, over centre catch off, you're ready to open up. Now your over centre catches are all off, you can open this top one of two ways. There is a winch supplied at the front there so you can winch it over, but they're very, very light. The gas struts take a lot of the weight out of the top here, so quite often what we do is just push them over like this. So your lid comes over, down it comes, nice and easy. This is when you grab your winch at the front here, so you undo your winch, You've got a little clip up here, hook it in. Wind your winch down, that top's in position, we're ready to set the tent up. One of the features you'll find on the cruiser slide, very important, is the back section. So it slides out and gives you extra room inside. So bring your drop tee out, turn it around, and what you'll do is you'll find that back end will slide out nicely like that. That's where it gives you your extra room. So that's it in its open position. The next step here is to zip these two sections together. So simply grab the bottom piece and the top piece, join them together, run your zip along there, make sure it's all joined in, just like that. Next we're going to fold the corners of all the canvas over in preparation to set the main part of the tent up, get everything sitting nicely on the outside and we're ready to go. All right, now we're going to open up the door to gain access inside. There's your little door key there, pop your dust cover off, put it in there, you've got one either side, simply unlock it. You'll find your steps on the inside there, already pre-adjusted. Fold your steps out, down they go, you're ready to hop in. And the inside's a very basic pole system inside. These are the poles you need. So you've got two cedar foots, you've got one short spreader, you've got two long spreaders, that's all you need for inside. All right, now we're inside. What Steve's gonna show you is how to adjust the main tent bows out. You've got two little locking wing nuts on there. Now, once they're loose, you can easily pop them up and away you go. So you've got one over the top there. The one over the main bed is the one you do next, which we'll show you. So Steve's just up on the mattress there. Slide your two bars out at the front and we're almost there, folks. Here we are at the back of the cruiser slide and this is where the magic happens. So what we're gonna do is push that end bow out first. You put your C to C spreader in there. So you push that up nice and easy. You clip your spreader in, adjust it out. So you lock it into your bar like that, like Steve's doing. Spread it out so it's nice and taut, and that's the back section done there. We've got one more spreader to put in here. Now you've got your C to C spreader bar in, folks. The next step here that Steve's gonna do is adjust this bar work up. So again, make sure your tabs are loose. Slide your bar work up there. Lock them into position so they don't come down. Both sides nice and even. Make sure your canvas is taut. Plenty of room in there to sleep the kids. They are really are a nice design camper trailer. All right, we're putting the last spreader bar in, folks. So clip it up onto the bow again, adjust it out into the roof work there. Clip it on next to the other one so they're nice and taut. Spread it out, lock it in, and that's the internals of your camper trailer done. 
All right, folks, in your cruiser slide, under this little door here, you're gonna find your batteries. The two 100 amp hour AGM batteries, nicely fixed in there, linked in sequence, so you've got plenty of battery power. All right, under this door here, folks, and you lift it up, you'll find the battery charger. It's a 240 volt battery charger, so you've got your power lead there. You simply feed it out the hole at the bottom there, plug it into your power at home, and away you go. Now, if you happen to option in an inverter, this is where you're going to find it. It'll sit right next to your battery charger. All right, folks, this is your rear bed section all set up, ready for the kids to sleep in. Another fantastic feature of the back here is underneath here, you can actually turn this into a club lounge area. So simply grab your cushion, move that out of the way like that, bring this one forward as well. And what you'll find is a door here. So you can lift the door up, out of the way like that, Pop one of your cushions back in here, somewhere to seat. And secondly, what you can do is you can put the other one up there as a backrest, tuck them in nicely, and now you've got yourself another lounge area. Another great feature you're gonna find on this camper trailer, folks, is your windows. Now, you can zip the window flaps up and roll them right out of the way like normal windows, so roll it right up out of the way. But what you'll find with these ones here is they've got the little gusset there, this little triangular gusset. So what you do is you open your windows up both sides. In your pole kit, you're gonna find two of these little poles. So they've got a spear one end and a little hook on the other end there. So what you do with these is place the spear through the top there, nice and easy. Place a little hook in the bottom there and just adjust it out a little bit. Pop them through both sides. So drop it in there nice and easy, spin them around. Again, adjust them out so your canvas is taut. And grab yourself one of your C2C spreaders, which you'll find in your kit also. Pop it on the top of one side there. Pop it in the other there. Spread them out. So once your window flaps up like that, it does a couple things for you. Keeps the sun out of your um, tent inside there, so it keeps it nice and cool. Gives you extra shade there. Again, if it's raining, you're getting rain coming in from all different directions. You can keep your windows open, keep the airflow going through your tent as well. You'll find this on most of your windows. They really are a fantastic feature. When you're out camping, especially in summertime, it's all about keeping cool inside your tent. One of the other great features of this tent here is your tropical roof that sits up over the main part of your tent. It keeps the sun off your roof. You get a little pocket of air in there as well, so you get really good air circulation through there. That stays up on top of the tent. You don't have to take it off. You don't need to do anything with it. It'll pop up when you set the tent up. It keeps the temperature out of your tent, makes it nice and cool inside. So if you've got a young one that's out for a sleep during the day, or you want to sit inside and read a book, the tent's nice and cool inside. All right, folks, first part of your framework here in your annex area is your ridge poles. Now, they're fairly easily um, recognised. You've got a flat end on one end, and you've got a hook on the other. Now with the hooks, you feed them up through your little pocket in there, locate the hole in the corner of your bow up there, simply just pop them in, they're very straightforward, lock them in. Once you've done that, run the pole down on the ground, leave it sit there like that, just lock the little nut up there a little bit, leave it sit there, do the rest of your poles, ready for the rest of your framework. Now we're gonna put the annex roof on. They all zip on, so you see Steve there, he's gonna feed the end into the zip glide. So slide that in, bring your annex roof up, get the zips nice and level like that, makes them a lot easier to zip in. All right, once you've got your zip on, don't forget to bring your Velcro down there, Velcro on your little weather strip there. You're ready to put the rest of your framework in. All right, we've got our pole work ready to go. So grab your flat bar spreaders, put them on top of your spear pole like that, both of them. Now Steve's gonna grab the first ridge pole. So you'll pop it up here, sit it on top of your spear pole. And what you do, while it's at a 45 degree angle there, get your canvas, pop it over the eyelet, So pop it over the eyelet up there, 
And as it's on a 45 degree angle, that's when you tension your spreader. It makes it a lot easier. So when it's, not, when it's up high, you're not having to reach up and grab it. Once you've got that in there, extend your bar up like that. What you'll find on all the tents here as well is a little hook there on the bungee cord. There's a hole in your pole there. So you hook that in. What that does, it keeps the canvas taut there, stops it from flying off if it happens to be windy when you're setting your tent up. Start to the front of your camper, folks. So grab your flat bar spreader. Steve's got the other um, spear pole there. So put that into the spear pole. Make sure that bar's loose. Again, stands free. Grab your other ridge pole there. Put that in position. Grab your canvas. Poke it through your eyelet. Again, locate your hole. Put the spring in there. And from here, nice and easy, Steve's spread out the ridge pole there. I'll spread out the flat bar spreader there, lock them in position, get it sort of looking tidy. We can finish tidying up at the end of the, end, end of the um, pole setup, but that's one end done, so we're just about there. Now we've got the front section of the pole work all done. It's all freestanding. We're going to move to the back end. We're going to show you how easy it is to set up. So again, grab your flat, flat bar spreader, slide that in there like that. Steve's got the other pole there, pop that in. Put your canvas over. Again, locate your little hole there for your hook. Spread your bar out so it's taut. Mine a little adjustment like that. Don't forget to tension your spreader bar there. Your spreader bar there for your ridge pole. Here we are at the last one. Again, it's a simple repeat of the other steps, folks. Put your spear pole through your little flat bar spreader. Steve's got the other ridge pole there. Slide that over. Grab your annex roof. Over your spear pole. Locate your hole, pop the hook in, tension out your bar work. Make sure everything's sitting nicely, lock your bars in. A simple couple little adjustments just to make it look nice and neat, but you've got an annex roof up. All right, folks, the first part of enclosing your annex area is your draft skirt. Very, very straightforward. I like to start here. So if you come in around behind your gas strut there, like that, Velcro on there. Velcro down there like that. Then you can continue on the way here. Get it all in place. And there you have it. On the bottom of your draft skirt here, folks, you're gonna find stainless steel D-rings so you can peg the draft skirt in, stop them from flapping around. Also, you've got this big Velcro strip along here as well. That's for your PVC floor, which we're gonna show you how to install now. All right, folks, now we're gonna show you how to put the PVC floor in. So Steve's got one end here. Very, very easy. So you just walk them out. Always use one corner as point of reference when you're standing the floors up as well. So spread them out nice and evenly. You'll see Steve down there. He's starting that PVC floor in one corner. That way you'll end up with a nice, even Velcro on your floor. Pull them tight. Get them to sit together like that. And that's one end in. That is nice and easy. That's how easy it is. Come to the front of your floor. Pull it towards you so it's sitting nice and even. Grab your poles, just lift them up. Sit them down on your PVC floor there so it holds them in position, ready for your walls. All right, folks, we're ready to put the annex walls up. Stevie is going to show you how to do it. So under your little bungee clip there, pull your pole back so it's a nice workable height. Use the corner of the walls as a reference as a starting point as well. So Velcro in there, put it up in the corner there, get it started. Gives you a good reference point as you're heading along the walls as well. Just another little trick as well is when you're putting your annex walls across there, make sure it's nice and smooth. Because if it bunches up, you lose 10 mil here, 10 mil there, 10 mil there. By the time you get to the other corner, you're going to be 60 mil short thinking your annex walls are too short. And what it is, you haven't got that front edge smooth. So just be mindful when you're doing it. Make sure that front Velcro edge is nice and smooth and you won't have a problem. All right, we're coming to the last part of the wall, folks. Good idea is just pat your Velcros down. Make sure they stick on very nice, very even. Coming up to the last bit of your wall, folks. Make your, make your Velcro nice and smooth. Pat it down as you're traveling along. That way you get it nice and even. When you come to your end here, you'll find the Velcros in there. That just seals the rest of your room up with the, the edge of your tent. So your walls match up with your tent there. Come right the way down. Velcros all the way down. 
right down to the bottom there. That way that seals the edge of your tent in. That's all sealed up now. Just a handy little tip, folks. If you're out camping by yourself and you've got a really big wide window flap up here like this to do by yourself, just a little tip. Bring the window flap out towards yourself, grab your wings, fold one in, fold the other in, and just start rolling from the middle here. It makes it a lot easier to wind your window flaps up as you're rolling up. Neaten your canvas out both ends, just like that. Make sure you tuck it underneath your weather strip there. Hook it in with the hook supplied. Just like that. Nice and easy. And there you go, before you know it, you've got a nice big window flap there, tuck in underneath. Make sure you tuck them in underneath here. What they're designed to do is keep the water out. If it rains during the night, the water's gonna run straight off. It's not gonna get inside there and fill your window flaps up. So, handy little tip if you're out doing it by yourself. Ready to set your ensuite tent up. You'll find that attached to you um, annex walls. So, simply lift them up, feed the spear pole through your eye there. Steve's got the spreader pole there. Sit that over the top like that. Spread it out. Bring it out there. You've got a couple of Velcros on here as well. So Velcros around your pole. Just put one on for now so it just holds it in place. Grab your rope. Sit it on top there. Adjust it up so it'll sit there by itself. And then just finish off with your Velcros. Just pull your floor out so it looks nice and neat. There you go, one ensuite room ready to go. All right, folks, at the bottom of your annex wall, you'll find this little grey flap here. The design of that is if it rains during the night, rain runs down here off and straight out, not inside your annex area. The other thing, well, if it's really windy during the day or something like that, you can actually put a bit of sand on there or a rock or something that can hold that down and it'll still work very, very well. So make sure you've got those grey flaps poked out and they'll work fantastic for you. There you go, folks. The Cruiser Slide 2017 model, 10 year anniversary edition, up and done. As you can see, it was a very simple process. I had a little bit of help from Steve, but after a bit of practice, there'll be no reason you can't do this yourself. So get out there, enjoy the great outdoors, escape with confidence, and welcome to the MDC group.